I don't normally talk in depth about the events in the real life card game, whether it be OCG or TCG. I'd like to think I've carved a niche for myself by focusing mostly on Master Duel. But a while ago, there was another big hit to tier limits in the recent OCG ban list. Why is that important? Because this series of hits lines up the OCG ban list remarkably close to how tiers were hit in the TCG ban list. More than a number of people have brought up the concept of a possible unified ban list for both formats. Which begs the question, why do we even have two separate lists in the first place? Because it wasn't always like this. From the first ban list onwards, TCG ban lists followed the same format as the OCG. If a card was banned in OCG, it was banned in TCG as well. And that's how it was for a number of years. However, starting in the early 2010s, the unified ban list was starting to become a bit of a problem. Remember, the TCG was still very much behind, and sometimes this method would result in decks and strategies neutered before TCG players got the chance to even mess with them. And after a whole year of Dragon Ruler format, which was its own problem, the decision was made to split the ban list in two, TCG and OCG format. As time has gone on, the differences in the OCG and TCG have only grown with different goals becoming more evident, with the OCG trying its best to allow as many decks as possible while still keeping it fair and balanced in a Marvel vs. Capcom kind of way, while the TCG leans heavily to promoting new cards and being fair and balanced in that Fox News kind of way. However, the idea of a reunion for the two ban lists has been brought up by fans every so often over the years, as both hypotheticals and serious suggestions. And with Master Duel showing how players from both the East and the West can come together on one ban list, I must say, the idea of one unified ban list is an absolutely freaking lootly terrible idea! First of all, as mentioned before, there's the delay in release between cards in the OCG and TCG. So we'd have the same issue as before of TCG players outside of Asia getting cards banned before they had a chance to play with them. Second, I think there's a misunderstanding about what kind of ban list Konami would adopt. A best of both worlds ban list that would fit both sensibilities is just unwieldy. And it's more likely Konami would just adapt one of the already existing ones. If Konami were to adopt the TCG list globally, it would rob the OCG of the variety it enjoys. And if Konami were to adopt the OCG globally, I imagine the shock of certain cards at full legality would be quite a pain. Want proof? We already get it in Master Duel. Can you imagine the amount of painful video essays complaining about Max C if it came back to TCG? No, thank you. I hope I've made it clear by now, I don't like the TCG ban list. It's overly restrictive, takes forever to get to the stuff that does need to get hit to the point by the time they do hit it, it's pointless, and they keep things banned longer than they should. But that being said, there are plenty of people who do like it for a number of reasons, such as the banning of certain cards, and I don't want them to suddenly have that rob for them. I have Master Duel for a more ocg center list, and that's fine. I want there to be options for players, whether it be by a sanctioned ban list like with TCG, OCG, and Master Duel, or with fan-made ban lists like GOAT format and Edison format. Bottom line, a unified ban list is not only impractical, it's just downright a bad idea in every regard. That sounds nice on paper, a little world unity, you know? But it just wouldn't work. So thank goodness for alternate lists. But out of curiosity, what alternate formats of Yu-Gi-Oh have you played? What are some good ones? Are they from Master Duel's events? Do you have one that you created? Was it one put out by Konami? Let me know in the comments and please subscribe.